Madagascar. And now we're talking about agricultural products. Let's check with the grains. Where are we right now with Russia attacking uh, 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 Ukraine facilities and prices still uh, moving up? So let's check in with wheat, corn, as well as uh, other commodities. Right now, I'm looking at the numbers for the uh, uh, agri commodities, which which priced about 8.49 percent in the positive territory, the numbers still climbing at about 756.75. Uh, that's are uh, the sports market. As far as corn prices is concerned, that's better by 4.85 percent. Soybean is up by roughly one and a half percent, and palm oil uh, in the red by 0.25 percent, just about a quarter of a percent pullback for the price of palm oil at the global market. Those numbers are uh, from the sports market. So let's cut to Nigeria's uh, Niger Delta. It's because the agitation for better and qualitative life in Nigeria's oil-rich Niger Delta is not over yet. For nearly four decades, the region that produces Nigeria's economic backbone is yet to receive its fair share of development. Despite all the efforts by both military and civilian administrations, joining me to pitch some new ideas of what needs to change and how the Niger Delta is right now is Asobex is a policy analyst and the CEO at Maritime Media Limited. Thanks for coming in this evening. Yeah. Good evening. Uh, it's good to, to touch base with those of you who are the Niger Deltans uh, once uh, in a while to, to feel the pulse of where the golden egg is being laid at least for many decades. So, but uh, do you think much, how, how much do you think has been achieved? Uh, we have quite a number of uh, initiatives in the Niger Delta. You are the NDDCs, you are the Minister of the Niger Delta and the Presidential Amnesty Program. If you put these three together over the last five, 10, 20 years, how much do you think has been achieved? And we have uh, certainly not achieved much uh, because of course you know that uh, the Niger Delta is the bad bit of the nation. And uh, I say so because uh, we depend uh, mostly on uh, production of crude uh, from the Niger Delta region. Mm. And uh, if you look at uh, what the various interventions that have gone into the Niger Delta to stem the agitations, I will tell you that uh, we have not done much. Um, not done much, but it's not to say that we are not doing anything at all. Because um, it was late uh, President Omar Yaradua uh, who uh, created uh, the Minister of Niger Delta Affairs. But before then, um, Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Um, yeah, they were, I'm trying to, so, try, try to reach you at the Niger yes, Delta, yes, by yes, the way. Yes, 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 my people from the Creeks. <laughs> so, uh, first was the NDDC, which was created by the Obasanjo administration. And of course, mm. thereafter, the idea was to uh, pacify the people, that is the word to use, to pacify the people because there was this agitation that we're not getting as much as uh, desired. And then thereafter, Obasanjo left office. When Yaradua came to office, I guess I'm going to charge you now <laughs> yes. for that. I put it uh, off. It's still coming up. Yes. So now, when Yaradua came into office in uh, uh, 2008, Precisely uh, in September, he created the Ministry of Niger Delta. And uh, all the idea was to uh, bring education to the people, to uh, bring uh, uh, development to the area. But unfortunately, we have not achieved anything because if you look at the Ministry of Niger Delta, for instance, mm. the only capital project mm. in the Ministry of Niger Delta, to me, is the East West Road. So the question is, why will you create a ministry specifically for the East-West route? And if you look at 20, 2008 till date, we're talking about about 15 years, and that road is still in the works. So if you are in school, you are admitted in school in 2008, <laughs> and then you are still in Form 1 because you have not progressed. So what are we now doing with the Ministry of Niger Delta? So if you look at then the act establishing the NDDC, they are interwoven. Yes, I was going to ask yes, you whether there was an, whether you know there's any overlap yeah, in, this, in the functions of the NDDC uh, and the uh, and the Ministry of Niger Delta Affairs um, and perhaps part of what the amnesty program is also trying to, yeah, to so, achieve. So when you see the Ministry of uh, Niger Delta, like you said, overlapping, and so if 
the NDDC, the management of the NDDC is given enough powers. As far as I'm somebody from the area is concerned, I don't think that there's need for a minister of Niger Delta. Because if the Niger Delta ministry has certainly not done anything, because this is a region that is so impoverished, we have issue of uh, you know environmental degradation. Okay. degradation. So what would the ministry of Niger Delta, you should be talking about building new towns, uh, cottage industries, uh, building the healthcare centers, and of course, uh, schools. Uh, what, and so what, all what, these what, things what, what, are done what, by what, the NDDC. Yes, I'm just yes, asking. So these things are yes. done by the NDDC. I have not, I can't remember the last time I saw the Minister of Niger Delta commissioning a project. And so I will advise President. I'm sure no more than more people yeah, will yeah, not like no, it. No, no, but to, that ministry we're, should we're, be scrapped. We are going to get to, to, yes. to your advice. Yes. Um, uh, uh, advice. Uh, yes. we, we understand. But again, what exactly um, does the Niger Delta deserve and what do the Niger Deltans really want? The, the average uh, Niger Delta. If, if, if we go back to the basics, I'm sure we can all remember the Ogoni 9 and, and the yes. rest. The whole agitation in the Niger Delta was it to pacify them or to give them their fair share. Fair share, not pacify, fair share. We are all Nigerians. We are not saying that we are better uh, Nigerians than the rest of Nigeria. Yes. We are saying fair share. You go to Abuja and then you see development. You'll be shocked. Everything that you see around Abuja, all those things are from the oil money. The same thing with Lagos. Whether you like it or not, most of the developments you see. But you go to Niger Delta, it's a mess. Niger Delta is in a mess. And so we want the Tinubu administration to do something differently. Because what we are doing now is not working. What the Minister of Niger Delta is doing is not working. The NDDC should be empowered because we have a situation where the NDDC is just serving the interests of some politicians. Because most of the budget. Now, let me ask you, have you seen the, uh, the report of the forensic audit? Will you send it to me? Have you seen it? No, no, what I'm saying now, why are they keeping it? Why did the president, the former administration, spend so much in a forensic audit and then kept it in the drought? And that is one area the incumbent president should go. We want to see the forensic audit. We want to see those people who have looted the Niger Delta dry. It's the same thing that has happened to this issue of uh, oil subsidy. So then if you leave that, then you come to the area of the presidential amnesty program. Yeah, so I think there was a program that was launched recently, a cooperative scheme, something yes, like that. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Well, was see, that a good one? A good one, because um, if you look at the, 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 the aims and objectives of that presidential amnesty program, DDR, we have done the DDs, and what is remaining is the reintegration of the youths back into society. And how do you do that without empowering them? Most of them have gone... Uh, on scholarship programs, yes, we have about 365 of them now who have first degrees and second degrees, but they can't be admitted into, they have not been admitted into the civil service. And so when you do that, you train people who are not gainfully employed. Well, was that the idea, to bring them back into civil service or get no, them no, 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 into, no, into the economy, society. really? Yes. Not just civil service, into yes. back into society. That is the issue of the reintegration okay. of these people into mm. society. So we have a scheme now, before what we're doing was paying them that 65,000 Naira monthly stipend. And so the incumbent uh, administrator said, no, we have to make sure that we give them skills. And so there's this revolving uh, cooperative scheme that he has launched with about 1.5 billion. And of course, uh, with a plan to pump in about 500 million I mean, but, 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 but we need to every... take care of everyone in the Niger Delta. And not just not the everybody. And, and not just the youth. Not everybody. No, you will need to take care of everyone. We need to. We need to. But this program is designed for the ex-agitators. Yes. And so about 30,000 of them but, will be But everybody is not they are not agitators. So that's I want to, that's what I'm going. That to. is one area. You are not one of the agitators. Are no, you? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm so you are not one of the agitators. I'm not. Yes. But, but, but so you, you don't fall under that program. No. Yes, I don't. So, so you want to see progress in the NDDC and the Ministry of the Niger Delta Affairs. But, but there's, I'm sure you were aware of the press conference by uh, Park Clark last week. Yes. Because there's some attempt to wind the program down. We are not saying that this program should live till eternity. Of course. But there are certain things that should be put in place. Mm before you wind down. And this, this, this brings us to the issue of the reintegration. Those who have been trained, those who have skills, the government should find a way 
But there's still agitation in the Niger Delta. Yes, because... Because all is the, not the, well. Because, all is not well yet. All is not well. Now, yes, let, let me, broad, let me, broadly speaking. Let me give you an example. One of, the, one of the things that would have, I mean, uh, cooled down tempers in the region. Now, this country cannot run our refineries. And then we have youths in the area who, through their ingenuity, are now producing, I mean, uh, running local refineries. Illegally. And, illegally. What, what is illegally? Well, if you the, say the, illegally, the, what of the man, the man, the man, selling, what of the man, no, what of the man, selling, selling, what of the man, selling dollars on the streets? Yeah, that's, illegal, that, that's illegal. That's seen, illegal. That's illegal. That's illegal. Have you as well. seen soldiers go to burn down those dollars? That's not that's, that's illegal. Have you as seen well. an operation? Well, the dollars, the dollars, the dollars don't cost a moment. They operate. They operate freely. So when you, as a military man, you go to an area and then you arrest somebody whom you claim is operating illegally. What do you do? Won't you arrest them and take them to court? So when you burn down the, the, the vessel, yes. when you burn down the product, yes. how do you now uh, uh, take them to court? Because the idea of taking them to court is to prevent others from mm. following the same path. So when you destroy evidence... Okay, so, so, <laughs> so, so, so we, want to, we want the new president, the new administration, uh, to give the fair share and a fair deal to the Niger Delta. That's what whether, we asked whether, whether they are not, whether they're... We are not bigger or better than any other part of Nigeria, yes. but just give us a fair deal, a fair share, so that when we go to places like Abuja, you come to visit me in uh, Bielsa, you see the street well, lights well, 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 you, you, you live in Lagos, so if, so, so if the Niger Delta becomes like Abuja, you will likely relocate back. Of course. Back. What will I be doing here in Lagos? Really? What will I be doing here in Lagos? You sure about that? Sure, sure. Home is the best. Home is the best. And so, and so finally, finally, yes. it's very, very important. Yes. I don't think that the Minister of Niger Delta has a relevance because if you, you, so you, 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 want, school, you, want, you want that ministry to go? Yes, yeah, so that we strengthen the NDDC. Mm. We strengthen the NDDC. Okay. And then so that. Okay. 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 We're, we're going to see what Mr. President will do next. At least it's not the cooperative one for the. Uh, uh, the presidential amnesty program. Let's see what follows next. And but, course, but the by the time you have yeah, a new this, yeah, cabinet, we'll see yeah, what and happens. And the scheme also brought about some 75 pilots who have not been, you know, pilots because during the, the regime of uh, uh, Kuku, President, well, yes. no, no, Kuku, during Obas, I mean, uh, Jonathan's time, there were some pilots that were trained. Mm. But unfortunately, the scheme, they couldn't be gotten into productive work. So there are no planes for fly. There are no planes to fly. Those who and have, they are, and they are pilots. They are all pilots. So what we are doing now, what the current administration of the uh, PAP is doing, yes. is to bring them back. They are negotiating with some uh, indigenous uh, airlines. Uh, airlines, and of course taking them to because you can imagine somebody who has trained for about 10, 15 years. I mean, say, say eight, ten years, and you are not active. Mm, professionally, you would have gone engaged. straight. You would have gone still mm. professionally, mm. and so all those things have been done by the current. Uh, leadership of the PAP to okay. make sure that... Okay. Well, there's still a whole lot. There's always a lot to talk about down there. But at least we've seen we're moving the needle a little bit. We just want you to move faster and better. Sure, sure. Okay, sure. we'll come back when there's a cabinet and we'll see what happens to the Minister of Niger Delta Affairs as well as the NDC. I don't want Mr. President to announce a Minister of... <laughs> a minister of a minister for Niger Delta. I don't have I don't a don't list know. here. This is not a list. This is my script. I'm just no, saying. I'm suspecting that you have happens, a list. No, I'm I suspecting you have a list. No, I don't. I, I don't have a list. I don't have any list. But all I know is that I have you on my list for the show tonight, and it's good to have you here. <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you so you. much, Asubex, uh, for this conversation. It's a public policy analyst and a CEO at Maritime Media Limited.